Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and uh, I am still trying to get used to doing this an hour earlier. I mean, I've done it for like years at 7 o'clock uh, Pacific time, and now, boom, it is 6 o'clock Pacific time. And I'm actually starting to get used to this a little bit uh, right now because, you know, I, I did it uh, mostly because of my friends I have on the East Coast. You know, they like watching it, but uh, when I start at 7 o'clock, obviously... It's 10 o'clock there. You know, a lot of my friends are old guys, you know. So, I mean, you know, 10 o'clock, they're already in their jammies and heading for bed and everything like that, you know. So, you know, this is pretty cool for everybody. They uh, they seem to like it. And uh, I seem to like it also. You know, I got a, a very good friend of mine on tonight. I've got uh, David Justin is going to be on the Reaper. And uh, we're going to just uh, talk paintball. And we're going to talk paintball. I've got a, another gentleman on tonight that I am looking forward to really talking paintball with, Mr. Anthony Mendoza. And, um, you know, Anthony's got a lot of things going on. And we're going to let him talk a little bit about it tonight. So I'm pretty excited to talk to this guy, you know. Um, I said that what I was going to do tonight is I was going to go ahead and uh, if you chime in, I was going to put you on for a few minutes. Jeff Thompson up in Canada. How you doing, buddy? I know you like the nine o'clock thing, your time, because you were one of the guys I actually did this for. So, but I definitely uh, am getting used to it. You know, the sun's out, you know, the birds are still chirping, kind of weird, but you know, I, it's okay. It's okay. I like it. You know, paintball anytime is a good thing. All right. Paintball anytime is a good thing. So anyhow, you know, I'm going to give my shout outs. I got a few things I want to mention first, and uh, then I'll bring out David. And then we're going to bring out Anthony. And, you know, uh, we're going to see what Anthony's got going on. You know, uh, you know, I didn't tell Anthony in the green room, but one of the first things I'm going to ask Anthony is how did you get started in paintball? Because everybody just knew that comes on your show. That's the first thing I hit him with. How did you get started in paintball? Because, you know, I, my viewers like to hear how everybody got started. And I know I definitely like to hear how everybody got started so many different ways. You know, I went to a birthday party. You know, I got drunk and ended up on a paintball field. You know, all kinds of weird things. That's that's really cool. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to hearing his now. I've heard about a million of them already. And now I want to hear a million and one. So it's going to be pretty cool. So let me start real quick. Um, you know, Damon Fowler is going to have Area 53. And it's August 3rd and 4th. And it's at Outdoor Extreme, and that's up there in western New York. Uh, you know, Damon, you know, he has a gator melee, the thing that hangs down off your, your mask and everything, protects your neck. Outstanding piece of equipment. It really, really is. And and I just think he's just absolutely great. So, uh, howdy, howdy. My buddy James is watching tonight. And Mr. Tim Schloss, Tiger Stripe Camouflage. He is watching right now. Very, very cool. And then I got to mention the WCPL tournament that's coming up here real quick. And um, it's Dan Colby and Steve Priscos. It's at Panhandle Paintball down there in Florida. And it's April 6th and 7th. It's uh, the second of the WCPL tournaments this year. You know, if you get a chance, you're going to definitely want to go down there. It's a great field. Last year, I had a, just a super good time there. It was a lot of fun. You're going to want to go ahead and check it out. And then I got to mention Chuck. Now, Chuck is a guy I've never been to their field, but, you know, I like promoting paintball. You know, um, you got to walk like you talk. If you say you want to promote paintball, promote it all, period. You know, I mean, with the WCPL, and I just went to uh, Tommy Cole's NXL in Vegas. Had a great time. Went to Tommy Tommy's uh, NXL World Cup last year in Orlando. Had a great time. So, you know what? If you're gonna if you're gonna promote paintball, promote it all, period. Real quick, promote all the good people, all the good things for paintball. Bad things, bad people, just don't talk about them. Very cool. Okay, anyhow, Chuck um, is uh, June the fourteenth and the sixteenth. It's at Mendocino Paintball, and they're gonna have space paintball scenario game for the three days. So, what that's about? Don't have a clue, but, you know, uh, get a hold of Mendocino Paintball and you'll find out what it is. And then I got to mention Monte Casino is coming up, too. And I think it's a weekend after the WCPL tournament Panhandle Paintball down there in Florida. And uh, Monte Casino is great. You know, uh, Bud Orr and Dan Kobe, you know, they pair off against each other. And, and Joe and Angie Schnelton, they have just a paintball to go. It's just an absolutely 
terrific field. They have a pirate ship. I mean, a pirate ship, a big pirate ship. It's, it's just outstanding. You, you just absolutely got to go check it out. And, you know, and, and all kinds of cool guys go there. I mean, it's got a great crowd that shows up, you know, especially Tim Schloss. Tim Schloss is there, you know, and Tim's the first guy I mention every week when I give my shout outs. Tim Schloss has Gateway Paintball in St. Louis. And I got to tell you, that has really grown in to a happening. The WCPL tournament is the final at Tim Schloss's. It's in October at Gateway Paintball. And, and man, I got to tell you, last year was incredible. I mean, everybody showed up. I, I mean, it, it was just like a meeting of who's who of paintball. It was absolutely outstanding. And it's supposed to be even better this year. You know, we had the meet and greet, you know, and uh, the players party, you know, a lot of things that the uh, NXL is doing now. You know, we kind of fired that off, guys. And uh, I'm pretty proud of that, you know. Do we ever plan on getting as big as the NXL? Absolutely not. Tommy and his wife, uh, Kara, they got it going on big time. They really, really do. I'm very, very happy for them. Been friends of mine for a long, long time and very happy for him. But all we're doing with the WCPL is it's a different venue. You know, um, we just can't, you know, it's more like a, a, more of a personal touch. And we absolutely love it. And, you know, Tim Schloss is, it, it all goes down to his at the end of the year. His field is just, uh, you, you got to go there. I mean, <laughs> You know, even if you're not, you can't make it in October, go check out that field. That field is outstanding. It just is. And when I say field, I mean, he's got like 12, 14 of them, you know, all in that same spot. So if you don't like playing this, go over here and play this, go play this. You know, it, it's just exactly like it is down there at SC Village. Um, you know, Geo has so many different variations of fields down there. It's just absolutely cool. Tim Schloss, Tiger Stripe Camouflage. Back in the day, and he's got it back out again. One of the best guys you ever want to meet. Him and his wife, Terry, terrific people. Then I got to mention Dan and John Colby, been my sponsors for many years. Immortal Air now was Air America when I started, uh, you know, like 150 years ago. You know, pterodactyls are still running around when we Dan was working on the air system. Then my buddy, Mr. Bud Orr. Uh, Bud and I go back a long, long time. Very good man. Very good friend. Uh, absolutely love the guy. Tom K, Airgun Designs. He was my sponsor with the Automag for many, many, many years. Absolutely love the guy. Rainy and Juby Boucher. Paintball News. Um, Rainy, I just sent you some stuff. So, you know, I know you watch every week. Should be there tomorrow. Cool little package. Uh, something you absolutely deserve. You know, back in the day, you could go out to any field and pick up a paintball news, and it told you what just happened, what was coming up, the tournaments, stories of big games, where all the fields were located, buy and sell. It was like the Bible of paintball, something I really, really missed, and they worked their, their butts off to get that, to make that happen. And the player never cost a player a penny. You just go out to the field and pick it up two times a month. Outstanding. And then Randy Camilla, APG, gave me my very first cover shot. On APG, Jerry Braun had paintball sports back in the day. He has paintball sports field in Newburgh, New York. And that's where the third of the WCPL tournaments is going to be held at this year. And that's in June. And another great field. It really, really is. Ross Alexander, Line SI. That's exactly where I started uh, with Line SI. I still have my original Bushmaster. When I started playing pro, 15-man team, Constant Pursuit. Back in the day, it was uh, a long, long time ago. Jim Lively, two tournaments you wanted to check out every year. Jim Lively's Masters, Jerry Brown's World Cup. It was like going, it, it was just like going to the a family reunion. It was absolutely cool as heck. And then Gino from Belkin. You know, Gino does an awful lot of things for people behind the scenes at Belkin. And so, you know, I mention him every week because uh, I just really, really like what he does. It's... Uh, He's absolutely a very, very good guy. And then my two little buddies, Jaden Gong and Mark Gong Jr., the young guns, the future of our sport. So I am going to go ahead and start bringing some people out. I see the Reaper. Let me let me pull it up. Let me show you. Wake up. Wake up. Am I upside down? Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, oh look yeah. at that. When you're on the side, that was pretty cool. 
Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. I, I just absolutely love it. It's uh, Hi, brother. You're impressive. How you doing, my friend? My day is now complete that I've seen you. Ah, you're so special. I, can't. I know. I, I don't even have words for it. I know. And I know. Yeah. Just uh, buy me dinner first. I, I will. I will. I will. And I know, I know you're very partial to McDonald's, so that's not a problem with me. McDonald's? I hate McDonald's. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you, uh, do you, are you a fast food guy? Uh, once in a while, not much. Um, I'm I'm a real big Chevy's guy. I love eating at Chevy's. Um, I, I like black bear. Oh, the uh, black bear, yeah. That's cool. They have grits there. Yeah, I know they do. I, I, I don't eat them, um, but uh, I got my truck stuck in them once. Uh, oh, that's not what you're talking about then. What I you, got it. What do you, what do you, <laughs> my old man? Hey, listen, the family said you're doing fine. Yeah, yeah, I know it. You know, it's really funny too. Is I got my keepers over here waiting for me to get done so they can oh take me back God. to the home. <laughs> poor, poor man. Yeah, he, a... They let me out because I they know I was going to be with you tonight. And they go, well, you know, oh, David's I... an influence man. He'll uh, he'll make I you love... smart, just like you know, you know, that's what beer does to you too. It well, no, I'll, I'll keep you. I'll keep you on, on your toes like we're dancing. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Cool. You know, I got a pretty cool guy on tonight. You know, um, I've been waiting to talk to him and he's got a, a lot of things he want to, wants to mention to us here. Um, you know, I've got Anthony Mendoza on with us tonight. I don't think I've ever met him. Yeah, you will. You will. And, and he's probably seen you 50 million times. But, you know, you're a snob. Everybody knows that, David. You know, they walk up to you and go, hi, are you David Justin? You go, yes, I am. Don't leave me alone. Yes, I got it. I got it. Listen, that's how that's how we met. It's hard being a celebrity. What are you going to do? Yeah, I, I know, I know, and and your time is valuable. So you know, I, no. I appreciate every time that you give me that fifteen seconds. That's exactly, cool. I am the complete yeah. opposite of what you just said. <laughs> you actually are. You know, um, you're a pretty nice guy. I, I hate to say it because I don't like anybody looking better than I am on my own show. Oh, you're you amazing. are a pretty good guy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, and you know, what's really funny is you know we're going to have Anthony on him, and he's probably better than both of us. He's so a great guy too. He's a great yeah, yeah. guy. Uh, he's a Southern California jewel. We have a lot of really cool cats uh, in Southern California in the paintball scene, and he's one of them. So you guys are going to be uh, uh, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, he's kind of shy, so you're going to have to kind of coax some works out of him. Well, look what I had to do to you to get you to come out of the closet, man. It was rough. It took Which forever. closet are you talking go, about? Wait a minute. Yeah. Hey, pick, Wait a minute. pick one. You know, pick one. You've been, you've been in many closets. Um, <laughs> you're number one with me too, Dave. Uh, <laughs> So, and yeah, we got Jennifer Montressor watching. Jennifer, Jennifer and Frank Montressor. Hi, guys. The Hi Montressor guys. Classic is coming up, and it's going to be out in New York this year, too. Um, you know, I, I said, you know, if, if people want to jump on and say hi tonight, uh, just let us know, and I'll try to send you an invite. Am, am I the best at that? No. Just put, just put it in their, in their Facebook thing, and uh, like you do with me, that's all. You don't yeah, I know it. I I can do that before the show starts, but once the show starts, man, you know, I can I could bring somebody on and wipe everybody off. Dude, I tell you, listen, you don't have to lick it like a stamp. Just just cut and paste it, all right? That's why my screen keeps dripping. There I got go. it now. There you go. Exactly. And, and you know what? That, it actually makes my tongue tingle, so I kind of like it. But mm -hmm. anyhow, you mm -hmm. know. That's for another static show. electricity. Yeah, that's a different show. You know. <laughs> yeah, th this one's this one's a kid show. Let's keep it there right now. So. <laughs> All right. All hey, right. You know, you know, you mentioned um, uh, Mendocino Paintball Park. Um, I played there. Uh, he actually invited me out. We did a really big game. Uh, uh -huh. If you guys have never been there. It's super great. I mean, it's a bit out of the way. We had yeah. a, we had to fly into San Francisco, and then it was like a I think a four or five four hour drive or something. Oh, five hours, Francisco. yeah, four or five hours, yep. But uh, it was worth every every minute. They have such a paintball park there. It's not only just a, an amazing, huge open paintball park, but they also have these cabins that uh, it's because it's kind of like um, it's an it's an adventure park. So it's not they. I mean, I, I got to ride on a motorcycle. There's a lake there. There's everything there, but they also have these amazing cabins. You can do open just regular camping too, but I had this really amazing cabin. It was completely furnished. It was like a like a Airbnb, and uh, they really kill it there. They have a huge stage. We did a big uh, uh, like a talent show. Uh, I my hats off to these guys. They're fantastic. Yeah, they they've invited me up there for the last two years. I just 
believe it or not, I haven't had a chance to go up there yet. Um, but, you yeah. know, I try to help them promote their stuff because, you know, you know, I'm like you are, you know, let's promote paintball. You know, I get all these guys with this lip service go, yeah, man, I'm going to do everything for paintball. I'm like, yeah, well, what have you done? Well, I've done a lot of things. OK, name one. Well, just a lot. I say, all right. You know, and then I let it go after that because then, then I know that I'm shoveling it. I've so. done a, I've done a lot of things to uh, to advance my own agenda. How's that? That's what they've done. Yeah, that's there, I, there you go. That's you, what know, I, I, you know, one thing pe people always ask me, you know, especially back in the day, you know, how'd you get so popular? And the whole deal was so simple. First of all, I talked to everybody. When I was a pro back then, a lot of the pros didn't have time for anybody. And you never heard about them anymore after that. You know, they, they were just, uh, they had their 15 minutes of fame and they were out the door. But what I did is I not only talked to everybody, I helped everybody I could. You know, and you just end up riding the wave. You know, it's right. such a simple philosophy. It is. You're nice to people and you help people. It just comes around to you, you know, but people don't get that. They think you got to do all this stuff. And then I got people, you know, because of magazine covers, I had people hating me for that, hate me for the television shows, you know, and it's, it's just like a two-faced type of a thing, man. You want to do it, but you know, some people are going to love you for it. Some people are going to absolutely hate you because you got to do it and they didn't. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. No. Toothpaste? What's your analogy with toothpaste? Toothpaste. Like, this is one face. Oh. In the back of my oh. head, the other I one. thought you said toothpaste. I'm like, what the fuck does that toothpaste have to do with me? Oh, yeah. I Someone thought... told me you could actually put it back in the tube. I exactly. needed to That's see that, thought. you know? It's like you're the so. genie that got out of the tube. And he's like, what? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just going along with it. Did you just call um, me a weenie? No, exactly. Listen. You oh. know what? It's exactly true. They they hate you because they ain't you. Um, we both. Oh, um, I like that. Let me write that down. Okay. Go ahead. Keep oh, going. Yeah. Keep going. He, he gets half his jokes from these guys. Go ahead. Um, no, it, it's true. I I had to go through the same thing at 2014 when my thing started happening. Um, it was the same thing. It's crabs in a barrel. Sometimes people are pulling you down, like, and they don't realize that you know we're just riding the wave. It just we caught the right wave. We started doing it. But the thing is, though, the thing that keeps us propelling to go forward, it's, it's honest energy coming from without, inside of us. It's not like, you know, greed or like, what can I get or how many sponsors? Or, it wasn't like that. And, and that's why, you know, people that sometimes want to become a celebrity, whatever, they're in it for the wrong reasons. And yep. if, you're, if you genuinely love people and you, and you genuinely love our sport, um, it's karma. That's what it is. The universe gives back. But if you, um, uh, hi, Facebook user. <laughs> it says Facebook user. I, you know what? I got my phone on here, too. Yeah, and I, I, I do that. Um, first of all, I got to turn it down. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. You're watching you watch yourself watching you. That's great. No, that's, you know, when I, when I got it up here, um, like I got Rick Wilcox, I got uh, Stefan Gumby Sansasola. I can see their names because they sign in, but 90% of the people say Facebook user. I wonder why that is. I wonder how that. I don't know. On my phone, I can get every name. Okay. And you didn't know that, huh? Well, I you're, did. I just, you're the computer I, whiz too. That's I, what's listen, I did. I just wanted you to feel like you knew something finally. Hey, I appreciate that. You know, I, you know, you throw me that bone, and I got to tell you, I just like it. You know, it's like, I like throw when I throw you a, when I, I throw do, you I the throw softball, you, you hit it out of the park. You know? I'm kind of throw. I, every time I throw you a bone, you bury it. Hey, this is a kids show. Anyhow, moving right along. Uh, you know what? We we need to we need to get some sanity here. You know, I knew the minute I put you on that things were going to go off the rail. And, and, you know, they're not only off the rail. Thank God I got a string on it because, you know, you're floating up there right now, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, go, ahead, go ahead, Fred. My arm's getting yeah. tired. Hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you say we bring out a guy that I've been waiting to talk to? And, uh, you know, he, he puts some uh, really uh, – he, he, Rick Wilcox. Here you go, Rick. Try StreamYard. Laugh out loud. Yeah, you know, Rick, your name's on here. Stefan's on here. Uh, Ryan Courtney, Paul Farrell, you know, those guys get on. But 90% of them, Rick, are, are Facebook user, And I just don't understand it. Unreal. Oh, well. Yeah, David Justin's on. What a dork. 
Oh, oh <sighs> I, I'm sorry, Dave. I, I was looking at my phone. I screwed up. I don't mind. Listen, I don't mind. Tell, <laughs> fuck, fuck you very much. <laughs> there goes my G rating. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> what do you say? We <laughs> go ahead. You, you're going to say something. I, 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 I know. Say- that happened before I even got on the show. You knew that you knew what you're getting yourself into. Sorry. <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, Wayne Skinner. Right on, Wayne. We should bring Wayne on too, you know what? Hey, we when do I get to promote him. my when do I get to promote my sponsors? You get to promote them pretty soon. Um, about 7 30. Oh, the show's uh-huh. over at seven. I'm sorry. Oh, That's right. right. Okay. All right. Now you get to promote in a little while. I want to bring out Anthony. I've had him sitting in the green room now for 22 minutes and I'm kind of excited to uh to talk to him you know I just wanted to go back and forth with you a little bit because I know once you get it out of your system you calm down a little bit and things things kind of roll better like a hyperactive child yeah yeah I'll, I'll take a deep breath now please <laughs> all right everybody uh you know I've, I've been talking about this poor guy for 22 minutes and I think it's time we bring him out please everybody welcome Anthony Mendoza what's hey, going on Anthony going, everybody how <laughs> yeah, you guys doing yeah, today doing good man you know uh sorry it took so long you know i i just can't get david to, to be quiet it's it's very very tough you know i mean <laughs> yeah you know it, it's 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 reaper what can we what can we do right it, it is you know his tongue's like tied in the middle and flaps on both ends i just can't get a word in edgewise <laughs> but anyhow <laughs> go ahead you see me write down my jokes because then you no, use no, them. No, there no. you go my hands free. <laughs> my hands free. yeah i know it the other one's shaking though but anyhow uh <laughs> So, Anthony, uh, first of all, let me welcome you to my show. I appreciate very much you taking the time to come on. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things you got going, because I guess there's an event that you're going to be going to. And um, I want to know, how did you get started in paintball? Then we'll get oh, to man. your other stuff. Okay. Um, it was about, I want to say, five months before my 10th birthday. Um I went out to a friend's party. He was a little older than me. I couldn't play, so I was watching on the sidelines. And I'm like, no, I'm coming back for my birthday. So I go back. Uh, we go to SC Village. Um, at the time, I think it was everybody was shooting. I think it was the DM6 or the DM, DM7. And I was like, man, that gun's so nice. I got to shoot one of those. I feel like I'm in a you know Star Wars movie or something. And then my dad hands me this like 30-pound electric autococker right <laughs> thing weighed half as much as i weighed at the time so uh we break out i think it was out in uh the, the bottom fields at sc and we're doing a you know run and run in i slide into this little like bush there was a tree and i'm thinking all right i'm gonna i'm gonna start shooting people it's gonna be a great time no one even knows i'm here and uh nobody told me about autococker backlog so, um, I'm, I'm, yep, I'm getting right around real tight in there because I just shot the DM6 a little bit before. So I'm like, oh, I don't got nothing to worry about. And the one I was shooting had a race frame on it. So I'm not too, I wasn't too familiar with how sensitive the trigger was. So I'm like, you know, nose to the back block. And then I, I shoot maybe 10 or eight or 10 shots. And man, that gave me a rock something serious. I walk off the field. <laughs> I'm bleeding from my nose a little bit because it was right there. <laughs> and the ref is like, oh, my God, are you okay? What's going on? Like, are you okay? Do you need to, you need to keep playing? I was like, I'm good to go, man. Like, I'm fine. This is the best day ever. And then, you know, that just started what has stuck since, yeah, 10th birthday. And, yeah, I've been falling as much as I can, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So this started on your birthday? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit before my birthday, I went to like a, a friend's birthday party, and then I went back for my birthday party a couple months after. You know, David, it's amazing how many people started in paintball off birthday parties. It's, I, I, it's like the gateway drug, right? I mean, yeah, how else would is. somebody? Uh, I mean, we don't advertise it really. So how does so, you know people really don't know about it? It's birthdays, bar mitzvahs, bachelor parties. It just happens always to be like a stumble upon, unless you know somebody that's already in it right it's always just like a stumble like wow okay there's a group of 10 kids are doing paintball and it always weeds out the you know like there's always the kid that pees his pants and then there's people like anthony that's like i found my thing you know what i'm saying well i, I yeah. peed my pants too though i was i was both of them. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, that's not that you know Dave still does that anyhow um, <laughs> but not on purpose yeah Dave, Dave, yeah <laughs> you know every time I go to Tim Schloss uh, has a field in uh St. Louis called Gateway Paintball and every time I go there that's what he has out there is birthday parties I mean during the week and you should see these kids it, it's like 90% of them, once they get out there and they play their first game, they are absolutely hooked, period, yeah. you know. Then after that, it costs their parents thousands of dollars a week. But, you know, other than that, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, it's a very addicting, very addicting. And, you know, Anthony, that was a, a pretty good story, too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the, I like the nose part. That was pretty cool, you know. And, and was... you took it, you went back out and played after that, though, right? Oh, a hundred percent. I put a couple of paper towels in there and went right back out there, man. There you go. Right on. So, you know, you got a, an event coming up um, that, that you were talking about um, that yeah. you're going to be setting up a booth at. Yeah. Give us a little bit. Uh, go ahead. Give us a little bit. Yeah, about um, it. Well, it's not my event. Uh, the clowns have set it all up. They're doing a, a mentor, the rookie day. Love um, it. So I reached out to them, asked how I can help. Um, and if it's possible, I set up a booth for my business and then, uh, yeah, they're like, yep, set up the booth. We'll uh, figure out something you can help with. So being the mentor of Rookie Day, I went back to the office, talked to a bunch of other insurance agents. I'm like, hey, have you guys ever played paintball before? And they're like, no. And I was like, well, I have an, an event that you can come play. <laughs> so <laughs> now we're going to you got about four newbies, never been to a paintball field. Um, going to bring them out, show them the, you know, the right way to start it. The safe, be safe. Don't shoot your friends unless they're on the other team. You know, barrel covers on, stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm just. This would be my second event that I've set up a booth at. The first was at a Lynn's game, and that went amazing. It was, you know, I on the way home. It was about like a about a two hour drive, and it didn't really hit me until we pulled up, and I was like, dang, I just did a booth at Lynn's game, and then. Reaper was getting bullied by my stepdaughter because he ate her string cheese. And then Fred put me on his show. Like, is this all really happening? <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just, it's a blessing, honestly. And the whole purpose of me even going to this event was exclusively because it's the mentor rookie day. And, you know, somebody took me under their wing when I started. And that's the least I can do for the sport, you know? And plus, being able to set up a business for my booth or booth for my business there is right. always a blessing. So I'm just, I can't wait. I really Very can't cool. wait. You know, Lynn, that was at Lynn Trong's everybody. Um, she does a fundraiser every year. And uh, I had the opportunity to go down there and, and set up and go live. Uh, Bud Orr and I sat there and, and David, my, my buddy, uh, Kiko man, uh, Keith Kissel, they walked around and, um, I, I guess, you know, David aggravated everybody. I, I guess he was, you know, your daughter, he was ripping stuff off and she charged him for it. He was trying to get <laughs> well, away. It, yeah, it was, it was a whole episode. episode. I, I had to go up to her afterwards and say, you know, he's a nice guy, but he's not part of my my operation. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, the, so. Problem, the problem was is that he had so much candy that he was giving away at the booth. And there was also some string cheese that wasn't part of the package but i grabbed it anyway and i and i was about to eat it and uh, yeah she was like no and i said yes and we're like fighting back and forth with the, <laughs> with the string cheese um i mean i knew that it wasn't part of the package but yeah but the, but that um the um the fact that he was able to mix like the insurance and the whole thing and and i think you even went out and played right oh yeah of course i'm not gonna go to a payball yep. field and not play man yeah yep. so i i remember that it, it was it was fantastic I think that's a great thing when we when we can do that when we can bring both of our skills um, out there and and like that type of thing because paintballers need insurance right everything is you know out there and it's amazing so thanks again for doing that I well, appreciate you know, yeah. the opportunities man yeah what it does so you know is it see to build paintball you got to bring in outside things to make people from the outside that don't know about the sport you know, at, at least get an idea of what it's about. And that's what brings people into the sport. Right. So that that's why I like that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, you know, it, it's the same thing, um, you know, just like people watching, you know, there's a lot of people down at Lynn's game that they, they were not playing, but they were there checking it out and right. see 
Yeah, and and seeing stuff, you know, like having Anthony there with the insurance and and a couple other people that were there were with outside things. It it let people know that it's not just about paintball; it's about other people involved with paintball. And I, right. I think that you know, the bigger the picture is, the bigger the pie is, the better it is for all of us that love the sport. 100%. I think that it's kind of a, <clears throat> an overlook thing, but it's also important, especially with the mentor thing that the clowns are doing. Um, I love the clowns. The, 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 one of the problems that we have in our sport is that um, people bring in people and it's, then it becomes like a gladiator event and then they get beat up and they never want to come back. So we need to be those mentors and take, you know, when, you're, when you go to a park or something, you know, go up to a group of people. Sometimes people are afraid to do that. Um, what? My daughter and the string cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my wife on there. <laughs> so um, what happens, you, should got, you guys need to do this. Go up, say, hey, you know, are you guys having a great time? Can I help you out with anything? Go out there. Because the biggest thing is you think about that, uh, whether it's a, it's a birthday party or even a dad bringing his kid for the first time, they're going to spend a couple hundred bucks to go to some kind of event. And if they get beat up, we just lost them. Right. Oh, so absolutely. You, you know, that's, that's, that's like that. that, you know, that's like, you know, watching, watching people that are there watching the games and then guys coming off the field and they're screaming and yelling, calling everybody a cheater and swearing, <laughs> you know, yeah, they're not going to want to go play that sport. Right. You know, right. yeah. You know, it's like going anywhere and somebody beats you with a stick. You want to go back and do it again? <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just wrong, you know, and, and the way I've seen paintball has evolved. Um, I, I see a lot less of that now. Oh yeah. I, Listen, I, I really, I mean, really I've do. I've been playing you know? since 2008. And the first time I ever played was at Hollywood sports and it was the gladiator event. You signed the waiver and there was no, uh, like there was no, uh, young guns. It was just boom. And we had, I was playing against the, uh, they were called the Ronin, uh, actually Ed, remember, you know, Ed that passed away. So he created a group called the Ronin and then the, um, uh, uh, Sonny Lopez's group was there as well. And, and these people were basically using the, um, the walk-ons as a, uh, let me see, I'll just put it to be like this. There was the hunters and the hunted <laughs> <laughs> and, and you have people that were like, and I was one of those being hunted. And it was like, and these guys were pump players, ac accurate, you know, wacky you, this kind of thing. And you either, at that, at that time, you either like got stronger and said, I'm coming back, or you said, fuck this thing. And that's happened, and that was in 2008. Now, I'm seeing a lot, you know, with the 50 caliber, with, with uh, the gel game and everything. I'm seeing it more of like, you know, it's, it's more welcoming to, to uh, first timers than it ever has been in the whole sport. And I think that's fantastic. Yeah. hundred percent. I mean, the new field at SC, that, that gel blaster zone. Yeah. Thing looks so cool, man. I want to yeah. get me a gel blaster. That right. That's awesome. Right. Yep. I got yeah. mine up here. There you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. Tank, tank sent it. I loved it. You guys know, uh, Ivan Quinto. Oh yeah. Never he's a great guy. Of, never heard of him. I uh, never heard. Of, uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah. He's such a great yeah. guy. Listen, I'll show you what he did. Hey, hey you know what? Go, can you send him an invite to the show right now? Sure. Let me show you. Oh, well, the poster's kind of tucked away here. I'll show you what he looks like. Hang on a second. Can you guys see that? Hey, oh, there you go. Hey, there you go. Yep. He's, right he's on. on the, he's on my, re, the, my, my poster. He created a poster for me. Um, uh, I can't on my phone. Um, Anthony, are you on the computer? Uh, yes, I am. Maybe. Can you, can, can you send him an invite? Don't think I have the proper permissions for that. Oh, okay, Ivan. Let me let me give it a try. You can, you guys, it's a link. Copy copy the link. Yeah, I can I can send him the link over. I just don't know yeah. if he'll join in the in the show with us. Oh yeah, he can, if he'll copy the link, he'll jump on. That's not a problem. I could give it a try, um, but uh, I just sent him the link. Lose all you guys, and I, you know, uh, this show is doing pretty good right now, even with David on Anthony. So you know, um, you I, I don't want to. Well, I think it, I think it's because I'm wearing Hormesis. I think that's what it is. Oh, Hormesis. Yeah, oh, I, I got I got my I got my stuff everywhere. Matter of <laughs> fact, I've got my headbands up here yet too. So, there you go. Yeah. They kind of were the, the, the one of the driving forces behind the summits, uh, the, 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 the uh, what was it, the, the award show. Absolutely. They, oh, Alex Frazier, yeah. you know, those guys, those guys only, uh, you know, uh, Ru, Rao, I mean, <laughs> Rao, Rao only lives about 10 blocks from me. Oh, really? And, oh, yeah. I'm only about uh, 30 miles from there, from field one. All those guys wow. go down. 
Oh, look, you know, those guys all started on my field. Wow. Ryan, Ryan and, and uh, Alex Reishi and, and they, they just all started there. I mean, That's Oliver cool. started there. Oh yeah, they really? were a bunch of they were a bunch of little shits. It was great, and then they ended up being the best in the world, man. You know, that's amazing. That and, and cool. you know what? I'll tell you what's good about them. And and obviously, you see my shirt. Iron What's kids. It, okay. It's iron kids. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, David. You know, I it had more than four letters. I screwed you up. I didn't mean that. But anyhow, um, <laughs> you know, these guys. What 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 I love so much about them is they're the best in the world. But they take the time to talk to and help everybody. Right. You know oh, what? Yeah. And, and, you know, that's what makes you popular. See, that's the whole ticket. A lot of people don't get that. They think that they got to be, you know, uh, I don't know how to put it. You know, they think you got, they got to push their way into everything. And right. when they push your way into it, you actually don't deserve it. When you slide your way and you're nice and people notice that, next thing you know, you are popular, period. It's interesting, and right? They're Sometimes great. I'll be in a location, I'll be somewhere like around the world, and, and somebody will come up and they go, uh, everybody says you're a celebrity. What's how I mean, are you are you the best in the sport? Do you score the most points? Do you and I like no? And they go, Well, <laughs> what? And I said, I'm just a nice guy, I guess. I don't know. But I mean, I said there, I said there are people like, you know, that that are like the like a Michael Jordan kind of thing or you know, a Tiger Woods. I said, I'm not that. I'm more of like an ambassador of uh, of, of the sport. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's really weird that we we do. A lot of us have that mentality. I mean, it's it is kind of that way of like the only way you can be the best is by either pushing somebody else down or getting like a touchdown or whatever. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's you know in our in our sport we have that side which is a speedball, which yeah, I understand, and you know the best team whatever. But on my, I'm kind of covering both things. How do I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very good with my pistols, but, you know, there's no, like, you know, the, the pistol hall of fame. I mean, this word. I'm just like, I'm just me. I'm just doing me. And uh, I'm in the hall of fame. You're, <laughs> you're in the hall. You're in the pistol hall of fame. Nice. Not the there pistol hall of fame, but the real one. The real you one. know, real yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, and Dave will be in there one day too. I'm, I'm sure he will because I, oh. I think that, I think Dave actually deserves it. I can't. Um, wait. You know, can't there, wait. there's people there's people that deserve it, and then there's people that, uh, you know, not everybody I believe in a Hall of Fame. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to leave that. I'm probably going to leave that alone. Actually, so, you know what? No, uh, let's not go there. But anyway, um, that maybe next year it'll be a different thing. But anyway, but what I'm saying is, I'm, I've actually. Uh, achieved a lot, whether being on Fox News or being in John's, uh, you know, uh, documentary or uh, whatever. I've done so much. So, so when somebody comes along and says, you know, oh, are you in the summit or the the blah blah blah? And, okay. Yeah. 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 Like, you, you, you know what's funny, David? And funny you mention that. You know, and and I I hate to blow my own horn, but you know when people when people say that they've done a lot for paintball, and I ask about their resume. You know, my resume is I've had more cover shots than anybody on the magazines back in the day. I was the first guy to travel, one of the first guys to travel overseas and play paintball. I, I was, uh, had the number one show on ESPN that we did right on the street of New York Street in Disneyland. Had the number one show on ESP, on MTV. Uh, you know, that's my thing. You know, that's what I did. And all right. of that, all of that came about not for me going out and, and just being a dick, right. but from going out and being nice to people and working hard for right. the sport. It took me nine months to get that show on ESPN. Wow. Nine months. Right. I mean, it was, yeah. But see, people don't understand that. And then they see, uh, they see me on the show and they go, what a show off. What a schmuck. But they didn't understand <laughs> all the people I put on that show. Right. You know, I have, no, I, you know, go ahead. Well, I, was, I listen. That was that was how many years ago? And then uh, in 2008, I started. So basically, you were me. I, I, I was you. I, I was you. I'm the second. I'm, I'm Fred 2.0, right? So you you started the whole this whole social media before social media stuff with paintball. You got paintball in all the press. You got print paintball on TV. You were 
like you were doing the same thing I'm doing. When I started in 2008, I didn't know about you. I didn't. I just did my own thing, and I I propelled it this way. You, I'm I'm riding on your back. I'm I'm standing on the shoulders of greatness because you created something. You got you went out there and actually got us on ESPN, got us on Disney, got us on on MTV. I mean, what what do we have now? People are like, you know, oh, I have a million views on social media. So what? So yeah. it doesn't matter. It's yeah, I appreciate that, David. But you know, you, you've you've done your part for the sport. You've you've actually made yourself who you are. You know, even without me. You know, one thing I'm proud of is you know Tim Montressor. You you you, you know Tim, right? You know he yeah. passed away. Uh, Iron City Classic. Uh, Frank and Jennifer's son. I was on uh, Steve McGuire's show one time. And Jennifer Montressor was on it. And she said, you know, Fred, I got to tell you something. Because I put out, Anthony, I put out a video of the fun of paintball with Fred Schultz that sold like a million copies. Wow. Okay. Jeez. That's a lot of copies. So anyhow, she's on the show with me and she goes, you know, Fred, that is what got Tim excited about paintball. Wow. We, bought, we bought him, ask her to, we bought him that tape. He watched it so many times. He wore it out. They had to buy him a second tape. Wow. Because it, it got so grainy. That's cool. So that's a true story. That's a now, story. real quick, guys, <laughs> we've got another guy here. Uh, Ivan. Oh, Bring him out here. Work? Nice. What's going on, Ivan? Hey, what's happening, everyone? <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Hey, happy to see everyone. Hope everyone's doing real good. Oh, man, I tell you what, I miss this sport. Uh, I'm looking forward to coming back. Uh, let's do some big things. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Plan. You know, first of all, I, you know, I appreciate you taking the time to jump on here with us tonight. You know, oh, that, anytime, that, anytime. I'm all, yeah. I'm always here for paintball. Oh, see, that's what I like. You know, <laughs> David, that's what we were just talking about. Is that too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know everybody on the, you know everybody on the show, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah. great people, great people, man. I miss everyone. This is my uh, second family, and I really do miss everyone. Uh, paintball is a uh, very unique sport where everyone's united. Everyone's really good people, and we're trying to do the best for the sport. So I that's the what I love about the community. Hey, that's me. Hey, that's the Reaper uh, event. <laughs> we need a Reaper event on the Central Coast again. So let me know, and I'll try. I'll talk to the paintball owners up here, and let's uh, put a Reaper event up here. You know what? <clears throat> you know what? Uh, Ivan and I we, we put on we put on a lot of events up in up in the Central Coast. One of the cool ones that we did um, was at the, the shack and it was called, um, we created a thing called Try Before You Buy. And what we did was we got everybody that wanted to come up, like any like uh, a paintball companies, whatever, any, any, anything, it doesn't matter. Set up a booth, it doesn't cost you anything and, and the player is gonna try it before they buy it, right? So then they, they, were, they were taking guns out there, paint out there, all that kind of stuff. It worked really well. I think that is I, I, I think that is such a super idea. I yeah. absolutely love I'm a, it. I'm a genius, right, Ivan? You yes. you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. You do that again, you bring that Lamborghini out there because I definitely like that guy's <laughs> shot. So that was a great event. We had a lot of people from the uh, community show up, people that haven't played paintball yet with a lot of questions and stuff. So it was great to have the vendors come out. We, uh, the, the, nor the regular players, we let them borrow our guns and stuff and masks so they can try that out. The vendors let them uh, some equipment also. So it was an overall great event for the community. I really enjoyed that event. But, uh, but so see what you, what you just said, Ivan, it's a big thing because doing an event like that brought people out that normally would not even come out and try to sport because, you know, paintball is one of them things that you've, you've got to try it once you, it's like golf, you know, you go and you play golf the first time you suck. So what do you want to do? Most people would want to get back out and get better. Well, that's exactly how it is with paintball, you know, and by doing something like you were just talking about, it, it creates interest enough for people to come out and give it a try because standing there watching somebody play paintball makes you want, at least guys like me, makes you want to get out there and play paintball, get out there and give it a try. Right. Yes. So I think that's outstanding. And David, that that's pretty cool. You did that. I, I think that uh, 
you know, I genius. I don't know if I'd go that far with you, but uh, no, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, no, I mean no, just smart anyhow. You know. Please, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Keep on going. What? <laughs> yeah, no, keep them cards and letters coming. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, what what everybody has done on this you know just like anthony you know um bringing the insurance company down the lens thing and setting up you know it it just makes other people that normally you know people that are in the insurance gig and stuff like that going wow he's at paintball what's his paintball about you know they'll start checking it out and who knows we might get somebody else just playing paintball and that's how you make the sport grow right yes, Am I right, sure. right david well, you know what's interesting also is that a lot of times when we go to, like, I go to Michigan or something, a lot of times what happens is uh, some of the vendors are actually the military, you know, like the recruiting guys, because they're into yep. paintball. And then what they'll do is they'll bring out another guy. Uh, this happened in, in uh, uh, Michigan at Hell's. And um, this one, the one guy that was with them has never played before. And he was all, like, dressed like, you know, it's his military stuff. I go, dude, I'm going to get you hooked up. Let's go. And I, I took him out there. And I said, here, I said, listen, the way this works is uh, you, you just shoot the guy in front of you. And the first one you see, he was, okay, I'm, I'm all ready, right? And so he goes out there, and the first person he shoots is a referee. <laughs> <laughs> I go, no, 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 no. Let me explain it. So, so, but, but, but he fell in love with it. And the recruiter that, that he was with, his sergeant, he, I don't care. He said, just keep him out there. Just have a great time. And we got another, you know, another guy. So it's just, it's that kind of thing. You guys go out there, go talk to people, um, go, um, you know, uh, again, go to, go to groups of people and just say, Hey, look at my, you know, my gear. Can I help you out? That kind of stuff. And it's just, uh, just be an ambassador. You know, you don't have to be a celebrity to be an ambassador. Just be an ambassador. Yep. Yep, because, you know, being a good ambassador could make you a celebrity. Oh, you know what? There's room. There's, <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah, I mean, there's, you can write that one down, Dave. You can use that one, too. It's I'm all right, there's, there's no quota. <laughs> we have no glass ceiling. If you, I mean, every, every uh, I think it's every year we open the book for the celebrities. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the mafia. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I just think what Ivan and you did, I, I just think that is such a phenomenal idea. And, and not just to bring people into the sport. But how good is it for the vendors to let people yeah. try out their stuff? You know, right. come on. It's like a, it's a double-edged sword. It's great. I think it it's was, smart. It was, uh, there was a lot of people that weren't, um, weren't into paint. I mean, there weren't paintball things. Again, like if, if Anthony did it, there was like, you know, drink people, whatever. It was all that kind of stuff. People were bringing their kids. I was putting my, my Reaper stuff on the kids so they could take pictures and stuff like that. Uh, I was the booth babe. Yeah, exactly. But, but, <laughs> but there was you put the dress on them. <laughs> oh, that's a kill. I'm sorry. Why, why, it's why a is kill. that man wearing a black yeah. skirt? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember the first time I seen you was down at uh, where was that? Paso Robles. Uh, what? First time I met you was in uh, Gladiator. Yeah, that's yeah. San Luis Obispo. Is that the first? San Luis Obispo. Oh. That's where it was. Yeah. It was that's that. Where. That's the same. Yeah, Gladiator Paintball. But the but the that was. I mean, we knew we had talked all the time, but we just never had like physically you know for over a year see you know right. that's that is one thing about about uh facebook i guess or the media itself is i and just like david i i didn't meet david or shake his hand for probably a year and a half after i actually met him right. online and and there was a couple other guys um that I talked to, I had a guy that watched my show every week for two years, never met him. And then I was down at uh, the paintball field at, uh, oh God, Glenn Forrester's paintball field down there. What's the name of it? Come on. Ambush. Ambush, Ambush Paintball. Ambush. And uh, yeah, I knew it coming to me as soon as somebody said it. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and anyhow, <laughs> you're killing me, David. <laughs> Oh my god! I can't wait! I can't wait to be involved with you. Oh my god! Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. But anyhow, I I just thought that uh, it, this guy comes up, taps me on the shoulder, and he goes, "Hi, I'm so and so," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" Two years, I I talked to him back and forth online, right. and finally got to meet him. You know what? And if yeah. you take and you and you look back now, you go to these tournaments, you go to these big games and stuff like that. 
you see people that are your friends that you've met on, on social media and everything else, but how else would you normally see them if it wasn't for the sport of paintball? Think of how many people, how many friends have you actually acquired over the years because of the sport of paintball? You take paintball out of the equation, you wouldn't even know these people. Heck, that's how I met my wife, man. <laughs> wow. 100%, there you go. Man. That's amazing. That's a good story. Hey, um, do I get to talk about my sponsors or what? Oh, go ahead. Look at this. Look at this. This is one of my new sponsors, Finlay Hats. Oh, those are that? nice hats. These are nice. And they have this little. What's the name of it? What's the name of it, secret? Dave? Huh? What's the name of it? Oh, F I N D L Y. Oh, cool. And they were at the, I, I met them at the uh, NXL event and they, they gave me a bunch of stuff to take to Europe with me. I'm going in May to Europe and they got this like, see the little the thing in the front? That's so cool, right? It they is. Make, uh, they make, but look at this. They make bucket hats too. Oh, I got these, very those. cool. These guys are it, killing it. As far are they as, the ones that do the iconic hat also? I don't know. I don't know. I, if yeah, because they, they gave me an iconic hat. Oh, and, and yeah. they, oh wait. So did they give them, were you at NXL when they give it to you? Yeah. Then yeah, that must be this. They were the biggest hat company there. They were right when you yeah. were right around the pro area. That's that was fantastic. So uh, yeah, you guys, very cool. Go, go check them out. Really quality stuff. Um, fantastic. They're gonna ship a whole bunch out to uh, Poland for me um, to give away to the uh, the players there. Amazing. So thank you very much again. You guys are fantastic. Oh, very cool, Dave. You know, and, and you know, traveling around, I got to do it back in the day. I was, believe it or not, guys, for 12 years, I was only home about maybe eight, 10 days a month. The rest of the time wow. was traveling for paintball. Wow. Yeah. I had a construction company and my partner ran it all the time. I was hardly ever in town to run it. So, you know, um, and and spent tons of money, just like, you know, you're doing, David, too. You know, you're traveling around promoting the sport. And you know what it does? Is it helps your sponsors. I'm okay. Jewish. I don't spend any money. My sponsors spend it on me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> Justin, is that a Jewish name? Here, look. There's my flag. Look at that. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I know it. I, I could, you know, my wife's got a, a Jewish star in there. Neither one of us are Jewish. Justin is so. my little. Justin is my little name. Here's some breaking news. Justin okay. is my little name. Um, so when I was born, my last name was El Kahim. My father is Moroccan, so I was El Kahim. And then I got my my parents got divorced and remarried. Uh, my mom got married to a Schultz. My last name was Schultz. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, S S H U L T Z. David David Justin Schultz. Mine is S C H U L T Z. I know, but they and, and they both mean the same thing in German. It it means a guard in German. That's what it means. Oh, does it? Yeah. Um, uh, oh, wow. And then uh, protection or guard. And then and then when I got married in 1988, I just dropped the Schultz and became David Justin. So oh, how I, cool is that? There you go. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. My mother is from Italy. So her last name was Pedrazzoli. So I'm half Italian. And but my dad was adopted. So, you know, I mean, that could be like Heinz 52. We just don't know what the, the other Heinz part 52. was. Because, yeah. You know what? Well, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. The older yeah. you get, the older they get, the older you get, the more numbers you drop. It's a 57. <laughs> oh, is that, is that what it is? No wonder my ketchup was so weak. <laughs> It's just like high as 12. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Poor Ivan's over here going, and I jumped on from this. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wow. That, that's very what you interesting. Say, what are you saying? It's time to show him another one of my sponsors? Look at this one. Oh, Gator Melee? Yeah, this is Gator Mail, but you know what? Look how thin this one is. You know why? It this is. is my kill to cover my way with one You know what I'm saying? Oh, very cool. <laughs> that's, that's about eight times the size it should be. But it's anyhow, not, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look what they can do. They can do custom things for you. Look, you see that? They put yep. the little... Uh, there, there you go. Yep. You know, da Damon Fowler, I've got one of the... One that he sent me when I first linked up with them. And, you know, Dave, 
they they those each one of those little rings they put together separately. Did you know they, that? They actually do. They, there's no manufacturing. They sit at home. They watch Jeopardy, and then yep. they actually do these rings. They custom make for you. Um, I met him in Michigan, and it's just been amazing. He's given me a bunch to take to Europe. I'm going to take another another set to Europe. Um, they really work. You put them down here like this. They really work. So uh, yeah, they're Gator great. If you guys uh, get a chance, Gator Mail is like the, the thing. Um, it's Gator they, Melee, but anyhow. It's not Melee. What the fuck are you talking about? It's yeah, yeah. yeah that, you, you're saying European version. But anyhow, go ahead. All right. All right. Nike or Nike, whatever. Anyway. So, um, but uh, yeah. So um, <clears throat> I heard you talking about them. So um, go, go hit them up. A great, he's a great guy, though. He's a, have he's you a, met, listen, have you met them in person? Of course I have. Yeah, at Monte Casino I met. Okay, anyway. cool. A so actually, he's... a couple times. And, you know, he's just a good guy. His product is terrific. But, you know, if he sucked, if he was a, if he was a dick, I wouldn't even talk about his product. But he's right. a good, good guy, and that's why I do that. He's a great guy. His wife is a veteran, and they're yep. both into saving animals. Um, yeah, I'm big into that, too, so. Okay. I spend a lot of money on animals. Yeah, so I've seen a lot of like they have like uh, sometimes they bring like one legged dog. It's hard for a one legged dog to stand, but uh, it's a good trick to look at. But yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Very cool. What were you getting, Ivan? Did I did I interrupt you with something? Oh no no no! I was going to get my Gator Mail on the mask. Uh, yeah. Chosen sample. Great product. Uh, yeah. I really like those guys. I have several items from them. But um, the, the one that they make on your mask to protect your neck, yeah. great, great product. Um, yep. They made uh, custom ones for me, depending on uh, on my dreads and the mask that I wear. Uh, so awesome people. Reach out to them and get your gator mail. Uh, everybody loves it. Yep. You it know what's really a trip about it? Too. It does. I mean, it does. When I first seen it, you, you look back to when the knights ran around. Right. The knights had that stuff, you know. And the first time I seen it, that's the first thing I thought of. I thought, oh, my God, how cool is that? And then he contacted me. Yeah. He contacted me before I, I even uh, knew what was going on. And he goes, I got to send you one. And he sent me one. And I still got it over here. Yep. Just just a terrific product. Anthony, you, guys, you, um, you know what we're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was uh, thinking about picking one up. I was talking to him a couple months back. I wanted to get a pink one. But oh, they're absolutely they're, they're they're great. Speaking of intelligent people, um, I'm going to let you in on some inside baseball here. Um, the guy down, there it is. Nice. Absolutely. Uh, Very cool, Ivan. The, uh, great product. The guy, Good math, yeah. The guy down, whoops, the other side, down here. The guy down here, this Ivan yeah. guy. Um, one of the cool things about paintball is a lot the of times, Ivan guy. Um, <laughs> to, um, it's like the Brady Bunch. Um, one of the things is like, um, you get to actually get to know people if you, you know, sometimes you're, you have a lot of downtime and if you're really interested in humans, you get a chance to talk to them. And I really got a chance to hang out with Ivan one time. And, um, uh, how do I say this? Um, he's about this close to getting his, uh, science to, I mean, He's a scientist. I'm just going to put it to you this way. He, um, uh, I, before, uh, let me see, before a lot of the dispensaries became dispensaries, there were people who were actually creating their own strands and brands and that kind of stuff. But you can't just plug something in the ground. You actually have to know the dynamics of how things are done, the male, the female plant, all that kind of stuff. And when you sit down and actually let someone talk about themselves and their, their knowledge, it flows and I got such an education from this guy. He, he was, I mean, this guy is something special. So if you ever get a chance and if you're interested in horticulture from the medicinal standpoint, how is oh, that, yeah. Ivan? Yeah? Very yeah. cool. You know, I got, I got friends up here, too. That, that's actually how they make their living. But they are uh, also very intelligent at it. So unbelievable. I, I was yeah. like, this there's is, a I lot more like, to it than people think though. You know? I thought I you mean, just put it in the ground and it looks like a tomato plant. I mean, like, I thought that's it. Yeah. No, there's a whole world that I didn't know about. I was like, fuck, this guy was, he was like the HP balance, the whole, I'm like, how is this in your head? <laughs> this is amazing. The, um, I used to work in a lab. So in the lab, everything's control, all our gauges, meters, this, everything that we do. 
so when I got the opportunity to get into that business, uh, I took all that knowledge and put it in there. So basically I created labs and then I would grow my plants and produce great fruit for people to enjoy. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. He's an amazing guy. Well, so are you, Dave. I, you know, know, I don't, I I don't know, want to make your head any head. bigger or the way your hand won't head. fit. So am I what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of great people in the community. I mean, Anthony Hayes, Mendoza, he's another great person in the community. Gamma Gladiators, we have the clowns, everything that the clowns do for Love the, the clowns. community. Love the clowns, yep. Yeah, we got Stefan and his wife Julie watching right now. Yeah, I was yeah. watching a clown video from uh, the KO Nations, and I'm calling for help. I need shooters. All I see is clowns everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny too is when they come up on you, they're beep 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 beep. beep. Right, the horn, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just it freaks you out mentally. <laughs> you, know, you hear yeah. all this beeping out there. You're like, what the hell? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah I love the clown when video. I was um when I was talking to the my other coworkers about what this event is, right? They were like, oh, I've never played paintball. What do I, what do we got to do? And I was like, all right, it's very simple. You're gonna go out there. You're gonna do a safety briefing. Don't take your mask off until you're in the parking lot. Very general stuff. And then they're go they go, okay, well, who are we going up against? And I was like, all right, this is where it's going to get a little intense. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, okay, a bunch of guys, a bunch of chicks dressed as space clowns, <laughs> yellow and purple polka dots. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm, I'm communicating this to them, you know, that we're all dressed nice in suits, ties, and everything. And they're looking at me like I'm the insane one. <laughs> so, so then I told him, I was like, yeah, just show up, be out there. Some of them will have horns. Some have, you know, clown masks on their masks. And one of my poor coworkers, she's like, oh, my God, I'm terrified of clowns. What am I going to do? Like, I, I can't do this. Like, they're not that kind of clowns. They're not that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I met I met Stefan and his wife, Julie. Those two do an awful lot for paintball. Oh, they really confirm. do. That, them and their kids themselves. But. You know, the clowns are such a great group. When I finally went down to SC and I got to, to meet a lot of them, I was so happy I did. They were just so, I mean, they, they just made you feel, you know, like part of them right off the bat. I thought it was great. I, yeah, they, I can't say enough so about their organization. I think it's terrific. And, you know, and it takes cojones to wear a clown suit out there. <laughs> because you know it's not like you're hiding behind anything right unless of course it's a neon sign behind you you right. know but uh, other than that you're gonna get smacked but hey, i absolutely love it well you know mine, what guys go wait, ahead a friend of mine uh gary baum i don't know if you know who this is um from paintball out. photography what a does, uh, yeah. um, so basically he was one of the founding members him and his brother um and uh the they uh started basically doing this whole thing and it, it's they would tell me stories back in the day that they would take um twinkies and put them in those yep. like, air cannons oh, like, <laughs> and just shoot so for them this game has always been about fun and bringing <laughs> excitement and just like you know having everybody have an amazing time and mm. i i played with them and against them and it, it's true they're just, how can you not be happy when you see a clown, unless you're scared yeah. of clowns? Yeah. Well, you know, they, and they're not a small organization. There's a quite no. a few of them. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're, 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 just, they're just amazing. Um, listen, yep. I need to give a shout out to my, uh, where I'm going to be in um, May, the end of May and beginning of June. We're doing a, a 10 country tour uh, through Europe. But uh, one of the places we're hitting is um, Battlefield Paintball, uh, Battleground Paintball. They're um, in uh, Poland. Um, and it's the, the largest MAGFED event uh, in Europe, about 1,400 people, and we're just uh, pleased to be able to go there and promote them. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. To me, Poland is like the Mexico of Europe. The, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. There's really no rules kind of thing, and we use real tanks there. You have to get out of the way or you won't have to, you'll lose your way, I guess. So um, there's, um, there's a, just an amazing amount. So if you guys ever get a chance to travel to Europe, get your passport, whatever else, go check this place out, uh, Battleground Paintball Park in, uh, right. in Brozik, Poland. You know what we could do, David, when you're over there, too? Maybe we could go live from there if you want. I'm in. Listen, I, 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 I am we could, so Do you have, do you have a satellite telephone? No, I just, just regular. I, I pay for the Verizon $10 a, a day okay. service. Okay, right. 
And yeah. if you want to, it's unlimited, so we can do that. It was eight hours ahead. So um, yeah. if you want to, just hit me up. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can hit you up well, on track. We, we could record the show, and then I could play it at the regular time. Dude, I'm so into help, helping you out. Let's do it. I'm, I would really love to promote the, these guys. They, they oh, I love it. Yeah. Job. Well, and, I think uh, it'd make them feel good. And it, it would give the people here a little insight into how they do it, how they play paintball over there. I think it'd they be do. cool. They, they do. They play, play backwards because of the time difference. So I'm joking. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that was, I, you know, I'm not going to get in there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so you guys listen. It's the um, it's the May, the end of May, beginning of uh, the weekend, the last weekend of the month. And um, really, if you get a chance, go. We have a thing program called the International Paintball Bridge, where we actually pay for you guys. So basically, if you can just show up, you take the get the ticket to come to Germany. We'll pick you up in Berlin, and we'll drive you to the event. You guys can stay for free at the event. We'll take care of everything. Just come as a tourist. Leave all your gear at home. We'll take care of everything. So we are, we've are we done this for, for players from all over the world. I've gotten players to go like to Canada, to Germany, to, uh, to Africa, everywhere. That's what I try to do. Mexican players have come in because the problem is that people are like, I don't know anybody. I don't know what to do. I've never, but if they have a friendly face like me, and I'm saying, listen, when you get there, you'll be my VIP. Just come and do it. So you guys, I'm here to help. Very cool, David. Well, guys, we ran over our, our hour, but you know what? I got to tell you, I think this has been a terrific show. I think uh, the three of you have uh, really put it together very, very good. I'm going to start with you, Ivan. Um, I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. But first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to jump on and, and sit and talk with us tonight, my friend. First of all, uh, thank you for having me over. Um, thank you, Reaper, Hades, uh, everybody that showed up. Uh, big shout out to the uh, Shack Paintball Field. Uh, yeah. Paintball there Field here in the Central Coast. Um, and thank you. And hopefully I see you guys soon. I'll be definitely be at the clown event. See you guys there. Nice. Sounds great, my friend. What a good guy. Very, it's very cool. cool. Dude, man. Yeah. You know, I, and I love good people in the sport. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna probably have him back on again because uh, I wanted to get to talk to him a little bit more. So, Anthony, you're next uh, again. I want to thank you so much for coming on here tonight, and uh, I'm gonna let you say goodbye to everybody. And uh, you know, I'm, obviously, I'm gonna have you back on again. So, um, yeah, you did a great job, and uh, I appreciate what you do for the sport. You know, you and Ivan. You know, some of the things Ivan talked about, I thought was absolutely terrific. So I'm going to get him back on here sometime and pick his brain because I like good people, man. That's all there is to it, period. Yeah. So I'm let you say goodbye yeah. to everybody, Anthony. All right. Thank you guys for the time. I got a, two shout-outs to make. One, Gamma Gladiators, best team to do it. Um, and two, Surf Club, look them up. They're super exclusive. They're going to be the next Hormesis. And I got my own character. I don't know if you guys could see that. It gave me a little rainbow hair. Wow, um, very yeah. cool. Thanks again hey. for having me. Show up to the clown game April 13th. It's going to be awesome. You get to shoot a bunch of insurance agents. What's the better day than that? All right, Anthony. You have a good evening, my friend. Right, you as well. Thank you so much. Bye, Anthony. All right. Well, David, that was a pretty good wow. show. These these Dude. two guys were, uh, were were absolutely great guests. You always kill it. How, how long has this show been going now? A year, two years? No, uh, three years and something. So. <clears throat> Dude, you're killing it. I remember... When you uh, when you first started, and I well, I remember that you took a hiatus from paintball, and then you kind of came back, and then you were like, I, you know, does anybody remember me? Does anybody, you know, whatever, blah blah blah, and it was like you just were like put your feet into old shoes, and you were just like, yeah, and so your show has been like like smelly as old. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> it's your show has been one of those <laughs> constants, one of those things that you know you have a great base, you keep on growing it. And you just have, uh, you know, amazing people on the show all the time. So you're doing a, a, a great job here. Well, I appreciate that. You know, it, it, it's just like you, David. You know, it's all about bringing people together because, you know, people, everybody wants a piece of the pie, but they don't understand if they all work together, the pie would be so damn big that their piece would be enormous. 100%. So, you know, bringing people together, you know, they might not work together right away, but somewhere down the line, they might link up and go, hey, let's do this together to make paintball bigger and better. So I, I tide, think it's great. A rising yep. tide lifts all boats, right? Ab absolutely right. And, you know, David, I always enjoy having you on. You know, you were, uh, 
in a you know in a battle of which you are defended. I used to say in a battle of which you run defended, but you know I'm going to say that you are now defended because uh, you do pretty good. I don't know if you've been been taking notes from me, but you know I, I just, have. Uh... I've been watching your show for three years, <laughs> and, and I've been studying you so I can figure out how to yeah. how to battle your wits. No, I'm joking. There you go. Hey, you other two guys, Anthony and Ivan, you guys hang out in the green room. I'm gonna put you back on in a few minutes here. We'll talk. Um, I'm out of here. I got to go. I got I got a life to lead. Okay. I, I didn't even mention your name. I says, I've been in. Okay. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. David, one more time. Listen, Thank you so listen. much for coming on. I appreciate you guys, it. guys. I love my sponsors. Titman GI Corps. Uh, they've been, they've been with me since 2008. Um, they, they, they helped me fly all over the world to do what I to do. What I do. They basically, they, they, uh, they, they take me, they ask me where I want to go. I go, they take me off my leash and they say, go be Reaper. And they know that I'm going to be the, the best representative for them. So that's I got a big one. I got a good one for you. You know, Billy Saransky runs core, right? Yeah. Okay. Billy Saransky, I seen him at, at the NXL. Billy Saransky tried out for my team constant pursuit back in the day and I cut no. him. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, it's a heart attack. Yeah. yeah. That's you know, you know who played on my team? No. You know, uh, David from Die. Played on Constant Pursuit for a couple wow. of years. Yeah, yeah, all of these guys, a lot of these guys started on my team. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that's fantastic. No, yeah, you know, I got a lot of you're, history. You're well respected. You, yeah, you are. Amazing. Um, anyway, listen, right, you my guys, friend. Um, do you hit the clowns up this? Is it this weekend, right? I is don't know. This, I think it's either this weekend or next weekend. I'm not sure. It's April, I think. So I forgot which one it is. Um, but you guys go hit that clowns event up at SC Village. Um, SC Village is bring your own paint, or as I like to call it, bring your own pain, because sometimes people's paintballs are, they don't break. <laughs> so, Rock hard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, right on. Uh, yeah, we're, we're all good. But listen, you guys, we're really serious about all our sponsors, mine and Fred's, um, you know, from Falcon to Gator Mail to Tipman to GI. It doesn't matter as long as it's paintball and you guys are, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't. I'll shoot a, a, a Valkyrie gun. Right. I shoot HK gun. I'll shoot Tidman. It doesn't matter. I, 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 my heart is part of GI because that's where my family is. But my, my, my whole the overall umbrella is paintball. Very well put, my friend. That's exactly how I roll too. I love it. Maybe that's why I like you so much. It definitely ain't for your looks, but you know it's got to be something else. So it could be oh, because you are a, one blush. heck of one heck of a nice guy. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so um, Freddie, Freddie, I'll talk to you later. Okay, you got it, brother. You stay safe. If Bye. I can talk to you ahead of time, have a safe trip and stay in touch with me, so we okay. can do We're something while you're over there. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do either a live or or a uh, recorded feed. About Absolutely. Me. And yep. just, I'm in, brother. I'm in. I, I, okay. I'll st I'll stay up so we can do it. That's not a problem. So we can record it because you there's actually, eight hours. You actually difference. wouldn't be staying up. It'd actually be early morning for you. Um, That's so staying up. Oh. And or get up till ten. Well, don't, yeah, you anyhow, change, nah. don't you have to change your depends or something at a certain time? Like, okay. No, nah, my wife does that. I don't even get up. <laughs> bye, <laughs> bye, bye, David. <laughs> All right, everybody. You know, I appreciate so much you guys watching tonight. Uh, what a great group of guests. You know, I, 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 I don't even know how to to put it into words. How lucky I am. I always say I, I'm not grateful for who I am, but who I get to know. And the people that I put on my show, I think, are absolutely terrific. I really, really do. So I want to thank everybody watching tonight. Uh, you guys have been absolutely great. Uh, and um, remember, when we all work together, we make paintball bigger and better. So until next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock Pacific time on Facebook on Flagpole Production, please, everybody, play hard, play safe, play fair. But get out there and play paintball. All right? Bye now.